And indeed, the Philly Fancy Crown has been declared the winner here. You see the pay there with uh, Armbro Crouch, the second, and Giorgio D, one of the favorites, also coming in, finishing as the show horse. 155 and four, that, by the way, is for a trotting Philly of three years of age. Here's a track record here at the Red Mile. Kenny Rice has the driver of the winning colt. Once again, Bill O'Donnell down in the infield. Kenny? Thank you, Sam. Bill O'Donnell never gets old, does it? Last year, you and Ted Andrews right here with Power Seat. Again, this time, the people wanted to know, could Fancy Crown run against the Colts, and could she win against the Colts? And she does today. Well, she, she proved that you know she's a pretty good mare at, at Ducoin. She wasn't as good like the second or third heats, but today she was tremendous. She breaks near the end, does not get lapped on. She gets the victory. What happened right at the end, Bill? Well, she was trotting off by herself there. I had to use her up pretty good to get through there, and she just wasn't really set, and I reached up and hit the shaft with the end of my whip and just started her a little bit, that's all. Okay, as we take a look, coming here, Ambro Crouch giving you some trouble from the outside, making a strong move. Yeah, she was full of trot. I mean, I should have just left her alone, but right there, I just, I reached straight up and stroked her, and I didn't have to. The horse way on the outside, I thought, had more trot than he did, and she just kind of lost her foot in there for a second, so you could see her there just kind of getting off balance, but she, no one was lapped on her, and worked out pretty good. Congratulations, Bill O'Donnell. Thank you very much. So once again, the first of our double header of harness racing has been concluded here as the 92nd Kentucky fraternity once again belongs to Fancy Crown. And of course, the driver, Bill O'Donnell. There's more to come as once again, the Breeders' Crown comes your way from the Red Mile in Lexington.